With me is someone who helped make it happen, his campaign co-chairman, former congressman and judge, John Napier. Welcome, Your Honor. Thank you, sir. Good to have you here. I'm delighted. Thank you, sir. What was the key factor in Newt Gingrich turning around a 14-point deficit in one poll to what seems to be a comfortable win tonight in the Palmetto State? Newt Gingrich. And by that, I mean he was himself. He's a leader who thinks out of the box. He's a leader who is going to now bring people together. He, he never was out there fighting the other people in the campaign. He wants to bring us together to win, and people think he can win. He can be a winner. You mentioned some last-minute smears to me just as the polls were closing tonight. Did they have any impact on that? Some last-minute smears. No, they did not. Uh, well, they may have. I don't know. I, I hope they did not uh, because people knew they were uh, frauds and uh, they were really bordering on criminal acts, if not criminal acts. But uh, to, to take names of somebody in a campaign like that and send out an email that... Which was, charged what? That, that he had, uh, in effect, forced uh, an abortion issue with, with his ex-wife. And that, uh, that was just beyond the pale. Who were the key leaders beside yourself that helped Newt Gingrich pull this off? Billy Wilkins, a former uh, judge on the Fourth Circuit Court of Appeal, was the chair with his wife, uh, Deborah. There were some business leaders who were very, very important. Dr. Eddie Floyd over in Florence, uh, uh, Vivian Wong in Greenville, John Rainey, Bob Royal. It just cascaded in. But one of the absolute keys was Pastor Bill Monroe. Uh, he is a leader in this state, and people just respect him. And when he moved over, that, that was just one of the uh, most important uh, endorsements. Well, are people like Dr. Monroe helping Newt Gingrich get the issue of values and personal questions behind him? Absolutely. Right. One final question. Your classmate in the House, Bill McCollum, Newt Gingrich's co-campaign chairman in Florida, said they needed a win in South Carolina for them to pick up in Florida and he can win. What do you say to Florida? I say, Florida, take on, and we have teed it up for you, and now hit it out of the ballpark. Right. And by the way, ladies and gentlemen, I first interviewed John Napier when he was a candidate for Congress 32 years ago. Thanks for coming. Who would have thought we'd be here tonight? Absolutely. Thank you, John Gizzi.